Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Woo, woo. Okay, okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. All right, I'm excited. <sighs> so today is March 6th, right? I don't know where y'all are living, but where I am, it's March 6th, okay? <laughs> March 6th. And today begins the first day of this parasite cleanse. Let me tell y'all something. I'm always excited when I'm doing a cleanse. I don't know why, but I'm I'm just I'm so excited. I'm I'm I really am. Um a cleanse is like the begin it's like it's like it sets a new beginning for you. You know what I mean? After the cleanse, you feel so better, your body feel lighter, you got more energy, you're more energetic, energetic. You know, um, I usually do a cleanse around the springtime. And that really, after the cleanse, it propels me to go jogging. You know, I'm outdoors, I'm, I'm hiking, I'm jogging, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff. And that's what these type of cleanse do for me. Um, it just kind of revitalizes your, your entire system, man. It makes you feel alive. Um, for those of you, for those of you who can't get out of bed because you're feeling so sluggish, you're feeling lazy, you just oh, can't get up. Y'all need to get on a cleanse, man. You don't have to do this cleanse. You ain't got to do this cleanse, but just do something, okay? So this, this video, I'm going to show you guys how to start this cleanse, okay? Everybody's starting it today, hopefully, right? I'm going to show you guys how to start the cleanse. Um, we've done this on this channel before. The first time we ever did this cleanse, um, you know, we, we went into how, how, um, how to do the cleanse. But... We're doing it again for the fourth time. This is the fourth time we're doing this cleanse. So, okay, if you don't have to start the cleanse in the morning, we ain't gonna start it in, 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 in you know, it, some people are at work right now, so you're not able to do the cleanse right now because you're at work. So, like, like myself, when I get home later, I gotta go to work, okay? I gotta go to work. So, when I get home from work later, that's when I start my cleanse. So, whatever I'm eating right now, I, I'm going to eat right now and then later on, you know, you, listen, y'all should not eat and then do the flush immediately after. OK. And if for those of you who don't know what the flush is, the flush is the first thing you do on this cleanse. The very first thing you're going to mix some Epsom salt, a little bit of orange, fresh orange juice. You're going to buy some real fruit, not no, not no box orange juice. OK, some real oranges or some real grapefruits. You can cut them in half, squeeze them in a, in a cup or a glass or whatever, right? You're going to mix that up with some, um, the, you're going to dissolve your Epsom salt into that. You can put a couple tablespoon of um, extra virgin olive oil in there if you want, okay? That's fine. Um, maybe two or three tablespoon of olive oil. Um, but you need about eight ounce of um, your uh, grapefruit juice or your orange juice. Just, you know, just squeeze a couple of oranges in your cup or a couple of grapefruits. Um, and then you put three tablespoons of uh, Epsom salt in there and allow it to dissolve. You can't drink it right away because that Epsom salt takes a while to dissolve. Or what you can do is you can dissolve the Epsom salt into some warm water first and then you add you know, a little bit of orange and more grapefruit juice afterwards, okay? But just make sure your, your Epsom salt is dissolved before you drink it, all right? That is going to make you go to the bathroom. It's going to make you poop, okay? For those of you who are new to this cleanse, it will make you poop, all right? And that's the purpose because you want to start eliminating the waste. That is, this is the beginning of a cleanse, guys. The first thing you're going to do is to eliminate some of that waste that you have sitting in your gut, in the small and large intestinal organs, in the colon. A lot of you guys have crap sitting there. Just because you're going to the bathroom regularly doesn't mean you don't have stuff sitting in your stomach, okay? Um, just because you're having your your just because you're regular, it doesn't mean that you don't have some gallstone sitting in the gallbladder you see what i mean so you got to do these things you have to all right um so that's the first step the first step is a flush that's what we call a flush because that's going to go in there and flush out the crap that you have sitting in your gut um pretty much everybody that has done 
these type of cleanse have talked about how their stomach just went right back down. The stomach just go down because they get rid of all the crap out of the stomach. Um, so let's get into what we're going to need. So today um, I ran to the market. Uh, we have a, a bunch of um, farmers market and stuff around here. So I ran to the market and um, I picked up some, some stuff that we're going to be using on this clean. Now, I might not have every, everything in front of me here. If I'm missing anything, that's fine. Y'all know what you get. Okay. Um, all right. So let's start with after you do this flush tonight, you will not eat anything at all. There will be nothing going in your system except for lots of water and lots of herbal tea, okay? That's what you'll be ingesting um, after you do the flush. You need to be ingesting a lot of liquid to move that waste out of the system, okay? Lots of water, lots of water and tea, all right? Um, preferably some peppermint tea to cool down the stomach, okay? That's one. When you wake up tomorrow morning, um, you are going to go. I'm going to share my screen again because let me say this. I did the video on my husband's channel um, last weekend, and I've been getting so many phone calls asking me, where do I do the cleanse? How do I do it? What? And I'm like, y'all did not watch the video. I know y'all didn't. <laughs> y'all didn't watch the video. Like, how could you watch that video and still call my phone asking me, what, like I have people calling me, where do I buy the cleanse? Like, how do I get the, the, the herb? So in case I wasn't clear, right? In case I wasn't clear, I'm going to go over it again. Okay. I'm going to go over it again for the people in the back who didn't hear me, who didn't see what I was showing. I don't know. But the, the phone calls I'm getting is telling me that y'all didn't get it. I, I, so I'm going to explain myself again, all right? So I'm going to share my screen. So this is a parasite cleanse. It's a 14 days parasite cleanse that mm, technically run for 17 days, okay? But it's a 14-day parasite cleanse. That's what it's called, all right? Um, <laughs> so it's a parasite cleanse, and I'm going to take you through what you need to do on this cleanse so let's let me share my screen let me share my screen because the phone calls i'm getting i'm like y'all did not watch that video what's going on okay okay so here's where you need to go the 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 the, the website is called grass root botanicals g-r-a-s-s-r-o-o-t Botanicals, B-O-T-A-N-I-C-A-L-S, all right? Put your computer on pause and listen to it again, okay? <laughs> all right. Now, this is the page that you come to. You're going to go to where it says Parasite Cleanse Protocol, right? And here it is right here. Now, you're going to scroll down, all the way down where it says instruction to our 14 day parasite cleanse. This is the instruction. And what is the instruction? The instruction is what you will be following each day, every day until the very end, okay? So on day one, it's gonna tell you what you need to do on day one. On day two, it's gonna tell you what you need to do on day two. On day three and four and five, it's going to tell you everything that you need to be doing each day on this cleanse, okay? Every day until the cleanse is complete, all right? And so for those of you who are asking me, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm assuming it might be a little bit too late right now because, you know, if you haven't gotten your herbs and stuff yet, then it might be too late. But you can start this cleanse whenever you want, all right? So for those of you who, are, who call the phone and ask me, where do I buy the herbs and whatever, and um. I'm like, what? Well, Y'all didn't watch the video. <laughs> so here we go, right? On the same page, scroll back up. Boom. Here it is right here to the left. That's it. That's the cleanse. You click on it. You click on it, and it'll take you to where you can go buy the herbs. That's it right here. That's it. Look at that. So I'm showing you guys step by step. This is the cleanse. This is where you go to purchase it. 
All right. It's called the Parasite Candida Yeast Cleanse. Okay. There you go. Right there. And that's where you go to purchase it. So let me go back again to the page. Let me go back. You're going to click on Parasite Cleanse Protocol. Scroll down. There you go. That's the herb right here. Right to the left. Right on the left. If you look right underneath it, it says click the image above to purchase herbal formula. All right. And on the same exact page, you're going to scroll down. It's going to tell you everything you need to get things you need for this cleanse. All right. It's going to tell you you need the herbs, the herbal formula, Epsom salt, some fresh citrus, limes, lemons, whatever, cayenne, pepper, ginger, turmeric, garlic, probiotic, coconut water, sea moss, cucumbers, pumpkin, squash, okras, onion, green leafy vegetables, so on and so forth, right? You're going to need all of that stuff. Now, the only thing that you'll be purchasing on this website is the herbal formula, which is this right here, which is this right here. There you go. Let me scroll down, which is this. This is the only thing you'll be purchasing on this website. Everything else, you'll be going to your local supermarket, your local farmer's market, or wherever you shop for your groceries, and everything that you are buying for this cleanse is coming from a plant, okay? It will come from a plant. There will be absolutely no processed food on this cleanse. No meat. No meat product. No hot dogs and burgers. No steak and potatoes. No um, lamb. I don't care what, how, 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 how you know, clean it is. Um, there will be no meat on this cleanse. Otherwise, you'll be feeding whatever parasites in your system, okay, while you're trying to get rid of them, which is which makes no sense. All right. No meat, no processed food. And when I say no processed food, I literally mean absolutely no processed food. Don't call my phone like a lot of y'all do and ask me, well, sis, I mean, is is a potato chip considered processed? Can I have a little bit of chip? <laughs> y'all are funny. Y'all are too funny. No chips. OK, no chips. Stop it. <laughs> All right, so hopefully I was clear with you guys, okay? I don't know what else, how else. That's the website, Grassroot Botanicals. You go there, just go to the tab, to the menu, right? And click on the thing that says Parasite Cleanse Protocol. Everything you need about this cleanse is right there. Just follow the instruction, okay? And all the ingredients, which I'm, I have right here in front of me, I'm going to show you guys right now, you're going to go to the store and pick it up, okay? The only thing you'll be purchasing on that website is the herbs, which I don't know. For some reason, I don't have it in front of me. I don't know why, okay? I brought everything else but the damn herb. Um, but you will need just the, the herb, the herbal formula, and that's it. Everything else you'll be buying from the store. So, so, why am I screaming? <laughs> Here's what a lot of people are confused about, right? A lot of people are confused about this. So this is one of the things that you'll be having on this cleanse, and you'll be juicing it and putting it in your soup, okay? You'll be, you'll be having some soup on this cleanse, all right? Soup. Um, so this right here. This is what we call pumpkin in the Caribbean, right? Now, this pumpkin is from Costa Rica, okay? Now, this is not the, the, the pumpkin that Americans use for Halloween. This is not a Halloween pumpkin. This is a pumpkin that we eat in the Caribbean. I don't know if they grow this here in the United States, but in the Caribbean, this is what we have, and this is what we call pumpkin, okay? And it's not your, it's not your, um, your Halloween pumpkin. Um, my cats are going crazy downstairs. It's not your Halloween pumpkin is what I'm trying to say. Okay. This is, this is a different type of pumpkin and it comes from the Caribbean. And, um, this one here came from Costa Rica. So this is what you're going to need. I have, 
I bought a big one and I cut them up in pieces. And so, um, yeah, I have a, the rest of this downstairs. So I'll be using this. You're going to be juicing this. Make sure you have a good juicer. Um, don't put large pieces of it in your juicer because you might mess up your juicer. You might break your juicer. So what I usually do, I peel this and I cut small pieces of it and, and throw it in my juicer. Um, and then I juice. Okay. So pumpkin, that's one. All right. Another thing you're going to need on this cleanse. Now I might not have everything in front of me here, but I'm just showing you what I have for now. I might need to go back out and get some stuff, but, and this is really, um, these things are not expensive. You know how much I pay for that pumpkin, that large piece of pumpkin there, like $2, like $2 and 25 cents or something. That's nothing. Um, and if you buy the whole pumpkin, you probably pay like five bucks for it or something like that, you know. Uh, cabbage. Let me tell y'all something. When you're on a parasite cleanse, cabbage is one of the best things to consume. Cabbage helps to expel parasite from the system. Yep. Cabbage. This is, I don't know how much, I forgot how much I paid for the cabbage. But yeah, cabbage is not uh, expensive, y'all. It's cheap, okay? So there you go. Go to your local farmer's market, get yourself a cabbage, all right? Um, I'm going to be juicing this, and I'm also going to be putting this in some soup, all right? So you're going to be needing some cabbage, okay? I'm going down the list here, guys. I'm going down the list. All right, bear with me. Okay, so that's the pumpkin and the cabbage. Okie dokie. All right. What are these things here? There we go. Cucumbers. Cu L listen, on this cleanse, you're going to be putting so much liquid in the system. One cucumber has over 90% water. Okay, about 98% water is in each cucumber. 98% of water, right? Um, this is the hydration that your body needs. You know, the cells, the organs, the tissues, they need, they swim in water. They need food, live food that contains water, liquid, to replenish the system, right? You're going to be juicing these, or you can cut them up and eat them. That's fine. You can cut them up and eat them, or you can juice them. I'm, I'll be juicing, because I, I love juicing, right? So get yourself, make sure you have a nice juicer in the home, okay? Um, and you're going to be juicing. I bought a whole bag of these, all right? And they weren't even expensive. I think I paid like three bucks for it, whatever. Um, I think I bought like a dozen or so. So, yeah, you're going to be needing cucumbers, all right? Make sure you wash them properly. Uh, all righty. You're going to be needing some bell peppers. You can buy the green, yellow, and red. It doesn't matter. All colors you can get, okay? Um, but you're going to be needing some. You're gonna, I'm going to be juicing these. I'm going to be juicing these, all right? So you need bell peppers. And why are we juicing these things? They're vegetables. They're plant food that has nutrients in them. That's why we're using them, okay? While you're cleansing, you, you want to put back nutrients in the system, all right? You don't want to deplete the system of nutrients while you're cleansing because this cleanse is getting rid of bad stuff. So you want to put back good stuff while you're getting rid of the bad stuff. So the purpose of ingesting these plant foods is to be able to put back good nutrients in the system, but you don't want to put back any sugar. And that's why we're not having any fruits. You understand? See, we're trying to eliminate the sugar because we're trying to eliminate parasite. So none of these things are sweet. Cabbage is not sweet, right? Cabbage is not sweet. Okay. Your cucumbers are not sweet. You see? Your bell peppers are not sweet. None of these things have sugar in it, right? And even if they do, it's like, what, 1% or point. 5%, whatever, right? There's hardly any sugar in those things. And that's why we're using them because they have lots of nutrients. Um, they're not sweet. They don't have any sugar. They're not feeding the body with sugar and feeding those parasites. And so you're able to, to ingest them without compromising the integrity of this, of, of, of this cleanse here, okay, by putting sugar in the system. Um, key limes, right? Key limes. Let me talk to you guys about limes for those of you who are not familiar with 
uh, you know, tropical uh, plant foods, okay? Uh, limes are tropical uh, plant foods. Um, they don't grow in, in, in cold weather. They grow in warm weather. And the typical limes that you find in your in your local supermarket now, those huge green limes, those are GMO, genetically modified, whatever the hell they are, okay? They have no seeds in them. When you go to the store, please, for God's sake, look for this. You turn it around. Can you guys see that? It says key limes, okay? You should say key lime. Key limes are natural and they have seeds in them. That's what you want, okay? You're going to get all the benefits from these. Um, you will not find these scattered on the top of the shelf. You will only find these in this bag, okay? So when you're looking for your limes, try not to look for the single loose lime on top of the shelf. Make sure you look for the ones in the bags, and it should say key limes, K-E-Y limes, okay? Right here, all right? That's what you're looking for, and we're going to need these. Oh, man, I left some stuff downstairs with my turmeric, all right? I meant to bring my turmeric. All right, so you're going to need limes. I'm going to need limes. You will need... This right here, lots of this. I got lots of this in my house. Let me tell y'all something. You will never find my house without ginger. Never. You come to my house any time of year. It's either in my freezer or it's on top of my counter. Okay. There's always ginger in my house. This right here is never. Mm -mm, I'm never out of ginger. Okay. Very important to have ginger in your house at all times, all right? This is one of the things that you need on this cleanse, okay? This is going to promote that circulation and eliminate um, that uh, inflammation in the system. For those of you who are suffering from all that itis, itis, this arthritis, this, that, and all type of itis, right? Colitis, diverticulitis, all type of itis. This right here. Is one of the many things that's going to help you on this cleanse, including them herbs, all right? Okay, so you need ginger, okay? Ginger. All righty. Make sure. See, let me, let me say this before I continue, right? This, this YouTube channel is not a Dr. Sabi channel. Let me say that again for the people in the back. This YouTube channel is not a Dr. Savy channel. We use ginger over here. Uh, um, we use um, garlic over here. Now, Dr. Savy was not a man that believed in using garlic, okay? That's him. I don't really care, okay? Um, I'm not a Dr. Savy fanatic. As y'all know, I've said that a million times. I'm not a Dr. Savy fanatic. So I use garlic because I understand the... Um, you know, uh, the, the benefit that garlic uh, gives to the body. Garlic is anti-parasitic, okay, anti-parasitic. Garlic has been around since the dawn of time. And if, you know, if you uh, are a Hebrew Israelite and you subscribe to the, to the Bible, um, you should also know that garlic is one of uh, the many uh, herbs that are mentioned in the scriptures in the Bible. Okay, so we use garlic, okay? Okay. Um, so make sure when you get your garlic, make sure, look at this. You see that right there? Make sure your garlic has the root on it, okay? Make sure you're, you're, you, you should be able to replant your garlic if you wanted to, okay? Not, make sure you're not getting that, um, that fake Chinese garlic, okay? That fake Chinese garlic doesn't have any root on it, and you can't replant it because it's fake. So there we go. And make sure your garlic com comes like this. Don't buy those loose garlic already packed in the, in the fridge at the supermarkets because you don't know where the, those come from, okay? So here we go. You see that root? That's what you need. So if I want to plant this, I can do that, okay? So garlic, onion. See, I like to juice these things. See, uh, you know, people ask me, oh my God, you juice onion and garlic? You're damn right I do. I throw this right along with my juice. I just throw this in my juicer, my garlic, my onion and I juice these stuff with my um with my cucumbers and, and 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 stuff like that. I juice my ginger 
uh, I mean, uh, my garlic and, and my, my onion. I juice these things along with my bell peppers and stuff. Yeah, because um, these things has medicinal properties. Let me tell you all something. If you are a cancer patient, if you are a cancer patient, these are things that you should be juicing. These things go inside of the body and they start working on those uh, cancer cells in the body. They start eating up those cancer cells and prevent them from uh, continue uh, further spreading in the system. OK, you onion, ginger, garlic. These things goes in the system. By the way, let me say this. Let me say this. Ginger is a natural chemotherapy. Let me say that again for the people in the back. This what right here, what you're looking at right here. This is a natural chemotherapy, okay? Um, the heat, the heat from ginger. You see how hot ginger is? Ginger is hot. The heat from ginger um, goes in the system and burn those cells, those cancerous cells, and then it begins to shrink the tumor in the system, okay? The chemical in ginger here, it's called gingerol, okay, gingerol. And um, you, you can't get that when you get the ginger powder now, okay? You gotta you got use the fresh ginger, that's the, the juice. So what you do is you wash this, you clean it up, and you put it in your juicer, and you get juice from this, a lots of juice. See, when I go out and I buy my ginger, I buy like two, three pounds of this stuff. I kid you not. And I juice them. And I sometimes I store them in my refrigerator, put them in a Ziploc bag and store it in the fridge. Or I put it in my in a regular part of the fridge and I take a couple tablespoons of ginger almost every day. OK, but I juice them. OK, the ginger, I mean, the um, the liquid that you get from ginger, that fresh ginger juice, it contains a liquid, uh, a chemical called ginger oil. Man, when it goes in the system, anything that's growing in there, any type of growth, that's what ginger oil does. That's what the juice from ginger does. It goes in there and it burn up cancer cells in the system. And that's why in the in the, um, you know, in the herbal world, we like to call this the natural chemotherapy. All right. For cancer. OK, just remember that for those of you who are suffering from cancer, if you're not on ginger, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? If you're not doing a cleanse at least every three to four months, what are you doing? If you have, if you are a cancer patient and you're not doing a cleanse, you're not you're not doing anything to remove the toxic and the waste from the system on a regular basis. What are you doing with yourself? What are you doing? All right. So ginger. Make sure your house is never out of ginger, man. All right. OK. And these things. So I juice all these things together and I drink them. I don't care what it. Let me say this. I don't care what these things taste like. For me, it's not about the taste. It's me knowing the benefit that I'm getting from these things. And that's what's important. A lot of people, the first thing they ask me, sis, but what does it taste like? Who cares? Who cares what it tastes like? Nobody cares what it tastes like. Just drink it. Just drink it. Because nobody cares. Me personally. See, a lot of people care more about what the stuff tastes like, but they don't care about what the benefits they're going to get from these things. And that's why most of our people are sick, because we worry about what stuff tastes like. It's not about what it tastes like, guys. It's about the benefit that you're getting from these things. See, so I take these things. I drink them. I don't care what they taste like. I just chuck them down, drink them. That's it. All right. Um, some of you guys claim that you don't like to taste this, right? Once again, it's all about the taste for people, right? Nobody care about the medicinal benefit that they're getting from their plant food. It's all about what something tastes like. You see these right here? These right here. These are okras, right? I don't know what you guys call it. Okra, okra, O-K-R-A-S. That's what these things are, right? You see them right there. OK, I juice them, I steam them, I throw them in my soup. Right. There you go. Okras. We're going to need them on this cleanse. OK, because let me say this for those of you in the back. Okra. Is one of the best thing for anybody who's suffering from diabetes, 
because this right here helps your body to produce insulin okay let me say it again this is going to help your pancreas to produce insulin all right which is going to help with your diabetes okay even if you don't have diabetes see it's not about what you have what you what you want to do is to take these things to prevent it's all about prevention okay so even though i don't have diabetes i ain't trying to get it ain't nobody trying to get no diabetes over here okay so i take these things on a regular basis to make sure that my pancreas is in good shape right is in good health so that it doesn't get weak and start to deteriorate and not producing enough insulin okay all right and then the next thing you know i end up with diabetes so that's the purpose of these plant foods is to constantly put them in the system so the body doesn't come down with some type of um illness man okay so this once again helps the pancreas to produce insulin in the system for those of you who are suffering from diabetes okay all right see the doctors don't tell you all this stuff <laughs> man these doctors are something else doctors don't tell you all this stuff They'll never tell you all this stuff. Okay. Talking it. All right. Now, if you live in big cities like New York City, you'll find this anywhere in New York City. Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, whatever. Okay. Coconuts is everywhere if you live in big city. Now, if you live in a small town in the country somewhere, I don't know. Mm. You might want to go searching, all right? But um, this is one of my favorite things to drink. I love coconut water. I'm from the Caribbean, as you guys know. And um, when I'm thirsty, this is, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly drinking coconut water. And if I can get them fresh like this or, you know, I think I did another video where I showed where it was in the complete shell, okay? Um, but coconut water, man. You guys hear that, right? You can hear that. Okay, good. There you go. Lots of water in these things. Okay, just bust them open. All right, get yourself a hammer. I have a toolbox in my house. I so just take the hammer, bust this open, and I drink the water. All right, you gotta you gotta learn to be self sufficient. That's another thing I'm trying to teach you guys. Try to be self sufficient. If you can drink this fresh, as opposed to buying it in a box already sitting on top of the shelf in a supermarket filled with preservatives. Why? Why not just get some coconut and bust them open and drink the fresh water, right? At least you know there's no sugar in it. The one in the store, they have sugar. They add sugar to it. You don't want that. So this is fresh coconut water right here, right? And I drink them on a regular basis. And what I don't have in front of me is the turmeric, okay? I don't know why I forgot it downstairs. Um, you need turmeric as well, okay? So see if you can get yourself some fresh turmeric root or some turmeric powder if you can't find a root somewhere. Um, it's a little bit expensive, but um, yeah, some fresh turmeric. Okay. Uh, what else? What do we have? Pumpkin seeds. Um, you know, I, I sometimes my oven doesn't work right now, but what I like to do, I like to take the pumpkin, right, and and I like to take the seeds out and put them in in my oven and dry them out, and then I eat the seeds. But right now, my oven, I don't know what's going on with it, so. I went out and I got some pumpkin seeds here. You're gonna need some pumpkin seeds, okay? I think they call them pe pe pepitas. I don't know. You know, it's just I'm, I don't speak Spanish, so there you go. Um, oh man, I think I bought the wrong one. I bought the wrong one. This one is salted. Well, we didn't mean to buy no damn salted one. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Okay. Back to the store, okay? Back to the drawing board because I didn't want no salted pepitas, but there we go. But make sure you get the unsalted one. We're going to have to get rid of this one, all right? I don't know what happened. Um, ladies, this is for the woman, okay? If you're a brother, you want to get these for the men, okay? But these are raw probiotics. Here it is right there, okay? And the one that I'm taking, hopefully you can see that. Let me see if you, let me bring it right up to you guys there. There we go. 80 billion live cultures, 32 bro probiotic strains, okay? So let me explain to you guys why you need to take probiotics. 
when you are cleansing the system, when you're taking the flush and it's sending you to the bathroom, right? What's happening is that the body is removing the bad bacteria from the from the gut. But unfortunately, it's also removing the good bacteria from the gut because, you know, a flush doesn't decide what, what is good and bad. It, it just gets rid of everything, okay? So when you get rid of the, the good bacteria, you need to put it back in the system because it needs to be in there to fight the bad bacteria in the system. So these things have good bacteria for the gut, okay? All right? These things, that's what they do. They 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 have uh, they provide good gut health, okay? And they're there to fight the bad bacteria in the gut. Um, so the one I'm taking is 85 billion, okay? You don't have to go that high. Um, you can start off with 30 or 50 billion, all right? Um, I just, you know, this is what I take, okay? And um, this has 32 probiotic strain in there, all right? Now I get this from the refrigerator in the vitamin shop okay i never get my probiotic from off the shelves i make sure i go straight to the fridge if you walk into a vitamin shop they should have a refrigerator there you go straight to the fridge and this should be sitting in the fridge um i take this home and i keep it in my fridge okay i never keep it outside so make sure your probiotics are coming from the fridge and you're keeping it in the fridge because they have live cultures in them okay there you go um one last thing. I don't know. I don't know if I'm missing anything. I, I'm sure I am. Uh, now, I don't know if you guys can see. No, you can't. Okay, let me open the bag. Let me open the bag. Why am I screaming? This right here. Whoops. Y'all see this? This is sea moss. Bam! Sea moss. This is actually the purple moss right there. I have a lot of it here. A lot of it. I think this is like, I don't know, two or three pounds? I have no idea. But, um, <coughs> so what I do is I turn this into a gel, right? And I throw this in the blender with my coconut water. And I blend it up and I drink it. No sugar, no nothing. I just, you know, make this into a gel, right? Which I don't have in front of me right now. So y'all know how to turn sea moss into gel, right? Okay, good. So you turn it into the gel where you can get the gel. I had, do have the gel on that website called Grassroot Botanical. The gel is there, okay? So I just take a couple tablespoons of the gel and I bust this open and I pour this in my blender and I pour some of that gel in with the coconut water. I blend it all up and I drink that. Okay, that's it. I don't care what it tastes like. That's just me, all right? So, um, sea moss happens to have a lot of vitamin C, okay? A lot of magnesium, a lot of iron, a lot of selenium, a lot of the nutrients that you're going to be needing while you are doing this cleanse. And that's why sea moss is in included in this cleanse because it has a lot of the nutrients that your body is going to be put you know that is going to be uh, needed to put back inside of the system um if you don't have access to a lot of sea moss i'm this is just i'm just showing you guys what you can do okay um this right here this is a c complex okay and if you look at the at the bottle there it says buffered right now, why do I recommend buffered vitamin C? Number one, this right here, you see that? You see that? Look, you see that? Whoops. Okay, so that's powder. This is this is the powder form. I'm making a mess here. I'm making a mess, all right? So that's powder. I never recommend it tablets a lot of you guys are taking these so-called vitamins and you're taking them in these hard pill these tablets they don't do anything for you they, they do nothing for you the body does not fully um absorb these these tablets that you guys are taking and so the the body might take just a small percentage percentage of it and then you poop it back out okay so you didn't really get it um when you're taking your vitamins in the form of liquid or powder. 
the body absorb it better. Okay, just remember that. So um, now the reason when you buy your vitamin C complex, make sure that it says buffered on the bottle because a lot of people are very sensitive to regular vitamin C and it will upset your stomach. Okay, and it's not good. Um, so make sure it is buffered with um, magnesium and, uh, you know, so this is buffered. This is buffered vitamin C. So it, it's not harsh on the stomach, okay? That's very important, all right? But if you have sea moss in, uh, in, in, your, in your home, make sure you're using, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Make sure you're using sea moss because it has a lot more of the nutrients that you're going to be needing to put back in the gut while you're on this cleanse. All right. So um, I hope I went over everything. I don't know. Um, if I miss anything, we'll do another live. <laughs> okay. All righty. All right. Um, now, I want to say something before I go. Because I'm about to get off right now. Let me say something before I go. You know, there might be some things that I'm missing here. You need some time and stuff like that. I don't, have, I don't have in front of me here. But let me say this. I'm, I'm going to show you guys some stuff, right? You see these things here? Your key limes, right? Your key limes. Your onion. Your garlic. Your, um, your ginger, right? Let me say this to you guys before I go. Right now, we're talking about this whole coronavirus crap that's going on here, right? Right. Everybody's freaking out, right? Let me say something. A virus is a virus is a virus. Let me say it again for the people in the back. A virus is a virus is a virus. Just like the AIDS virus, the HIV virus, the this virus, the that virus, all kind of virus, the flu virus. A virus is a virus is a virus, okay? When a virus goes inside the system, listen to me carefully now. When the virus goes in the system, the virus will only survive in the system if your immune system is jacked the hell up, okay? God, whoever that person is to you, the creator, the person who created us, because we didn't create our damn self, okay? Our creator, when he created us, our body, he put in our system something that is called the immune system, okay? And your immune system is the body's defense, it's like your body's army. That's what it is. Your immune system is your body's army, okay? It's the soldiers that are in your, your body that are there, put there to fight whenever there is some type of foreign invader attack your body, right? So if your soldiers are weak, right? If your army, if your entire army is weak, is jacked up, when you get a virus, your army is not going to be able to fight for you. Your soldiers are weak. They're down, right? So that virus is going to take over and destroy the entire goddamn colony, the entire city, the entire town, the entire country. You get what I'm saying? So your immune system is your body's defense. It's your body's defense force, the, the FBI, right? The CIA. That's what, that, that's what the immune system is for your body, right? Your army. That's what the most I put in there to fight for you. But if you get up every day and you're eating bagel and cream cheese and Burger King and, 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 and McDonald's and Popeye's chicken and pizza and mac and cheese and milk and cheese and garbage and cookies and cakes and candies, you know what you're doing? You're killing off your soldiers, man. You're, you're, you're weakening your army. Your army is completely weak. They can't fight for you. They can't because you, you're not feeding them anything to strengthen them. You get what I'm saying? 
You're weakening your army because of the food that you're eating. All that garbage junk that you're eating every day, morning, noon, and night. You get up in the morning, you have some nasty sandwich, some bacon, egg, and cheese, and all this crap. Lunchtime, you have some other crap that you have, some type of nonsense sandwich that you're having for lunch. And then dinner time, you go home and you have some steak and cheese and this and whatever the hell y'all are eating, right? None of those things have any nutrients in it. None of it. None of it. You know where the nutrients are? The nutrients are in these things, man. The nutri the real natural nutrients comes from the earth, for God's sake, man. Your nutrients are coming from the earth, the fresh, the fresh food that God put in the earth. That's where your nutrients come from. All the juices from these things, all of the juices, right? Comes, that's where your nutrients is coming from. And that's what's going to feed the cells and feed the organs and feed the tissues, right? And clean up the blood. You see what I'm saying? And, and make sure that your colon is nice and clean, right? Your, your, your large and small intestinal organs are nice and clean. You see what I'm saying? All of that bread and this and that you're throwing down there every day. That's why your immune system is weak, brothers and sisters. And that's why when you catch a little cold, it takes you, you know, it, it takes you two, three weeks to get better when you catch a cold. Because your immune system is not strong enough to fight off a, a simple common cold, right? So now we're talking about the coronavirus. How are you going to fight the coronavirus if your goddamn soldiers and your army is down? It's weak. Because you've been eat, you spend your whole entire life eating garbage, sodas and liquor and this and burgers and french fries and McDonald's and... You know, all this stuff, hot dogs and mac and cheese and blah, 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 right? The immune system is weak. The immune system is weak. And so that's why I do these cleanse. These type of cleanse, you have these herbs. I don't have my herbs in front of me right now. I don't know. I left it somewhere, right? These herbs go in the system and they clean up the system and they help to build the immune system, man. And when you incorporate these type of things in, 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 in your daily life, right? On a regular basis, this right here, it goes in there. And if you have anything growing down there, it's going to slowly burn that up. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and eliminate all the toxins that's sitting in your body, man. That's what these things does. That's what these things does. That's why you need them every day. Whoops. That's why you need them every day. You need them every day in your system. All right. So instead of freaking out, and running around talking about the coronavirus and all this nonsense, right? Worry about your immune system because that's what God gave you to fight any type of virus that is attacking. That's what the most I gave you, right? You, you being scared, running around. To, I, I see all these posts on social media. Every, every five seconds, there's somebody talking about this coronavirus, right? Nobody is talking about how they're going to prepare their body to fight against any virus, whether it be the corona, red stripe bear, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. It, it, whatever virus that comes your way, you should, your system, listen, there are people out here who are living with the HIV virus, right? And they're living a long life because they have learned how to take care of their immune system. They're putting things that are feeding the immune system in a positive way and that is strengthening the immune system and allowing them to live with this virus for a long, long time. Um, and so you can live with a virus. You can live with uh, a virus in the system for a long time, as long as the immune system is strong and is fighting that virus, you can live with a virus. Um, you can even get rid of a virus. Hello. Okay. But you got to strengthen the immune system. That's the key. And that's the message I want to, uh, uh, I'm trying to, you know, send to you guys. Stop freaking out about some dumbass virus that, that they're trying to scare us with. Okay. Focus on your health. Focus on fixing your immune system by cleaning it up, flushing out the toxins and the waste in there, right? And taking natural food. That's going to feed the system, man. All right. I hope I was. Um, I hope I covered everything anyway. Yeah. So just wanted to, you know, just wanted to um, share that with you guys. Um, so, yeah, cleanse begin today. Um, I will begin my 
uh, you know, we'll begin it later on this evening after work. And so that's it, man. Go to, let me share the website again. <laughs> Some of y'all might be, you know, let me share it again before I go. Let me share it one more time. All righty then. So here's where your cleanse is. Here's where your cleanse is right here. Here's where the instruction for the cleanse is. Parasite Candida Cleanse Instruction. Grassroot Botanicals. That's the website. Grassroot Botanicals. You're going to go to Parasite Cleanse Protocol and scroll down and follow the instruction. Right? Follow the instruction, guys. Scroll down and follow. Just read. Take the time to read this. Just read. All right? I Hopefully, you guys went out and got what you need already for this cleanse. Okay? All right. I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Okay? Um, again, if you have any questions about this cleanse, if you get confused somehow, shoot me a message or call me. All right. Call me up. OK. Talk to you guys later. Bye.